thug number one, um, uh, biker who administers beating to hero. Uh, that because I really did know Gary largely through uh, roles as a thug and a bad man. You know, doing doing stunts is is dangerous work. It's scary sometimes. Actually, if you're afraid, you shouldn't be doing it. It's it's like football. If you're afraid of taking hits, you shouldn't be out playing it because that's the name of the game. That was some good advice from stuntman Gary Kent, who's the subject of the documentary Love and Other Stunts. It's just one of the 200 plus appearances on the big screen for him and probably his least dangerous. It's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Kent to the show along with director and filmmaker Joe O'Connell. Thank you both so much for joining me. Thank you, Alex. Such a pleasure to to have you here. So, I mean, I don't know how we encapsulate decades of a career into five minutes, but we're going to try a little bit here. I have to ask you first and foremost, what would possess somebody to decide to become a stuntman? Um, The challenge and needing work. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. When I got into it, I didn't even really know what stuntmen did. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I went to Hollywood to be an actor, and all the actors were out of work, a- as they always are. Yeah. And their pictures were being thrown in the ash can. thought, that's not for me, and I got to find some way to stay on film all the time. Mm-hmm. And work. And work. And then Jack Nicholson, I was having lunch with a friend of mine, he said, Jack Nicholson, who was just getting started, mm-hmm. is doing two westerns up in Utah, and they need a stuntman. And I went, I just stunt man. I just like and so they said I went on the interview and Jack said, Can you get a horse to get sick, slow down, lay down and die? Oh man. And I went, Oh yeah, that's easy. I'll do that and then I thought, How am I gonna do that? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I called a vet when we got up there mm-hmm. and they came over and doped the horse and he gradually got sick and lay down and died. So that was my entree. Wow. Making a horse die. <laughs> And you made it happen. You saw opportunity, you made it happen, and there we're we're seeing a picture of, uh, looks like you got stabbed there by a very big knife, and that's (laughs) very good. uh, That's an independent film called uh, Virgin Cheerleaders in Chains, a very recent film. He's still working. An amazing title to that, too. And so, Joe, I have to ask you, why did you decide to make this film? 20 years ago, I met this guy at a writer's conference, and and I'm a a film journalist, and I ended up writing some articles about him. Mm -hmm. And year, we became friends in years past, and he was coming out with uh, his memoir, Shadows and Light. And I thought, it, that person is me. I, I'm the guy, and I have to do it now. Mm-hmm. So we began filming when, they, when his uh, memoir was released. And that just, you know, had to learn on the job. Right, basically. a long time coming. I mean, you guys have known each other for two decades, like you said. Um, mm-hmm. Gary, in this long career, any injuries you want to tell us about? I'm sure you've had more than a couple. I, any stuntman my age has had a lot of them, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the only job on a film set where you run the risk of getting injured or even killed, mm-hmm. which happens every now and then. Right. So, yeah, I've had uh, all these ribs broken. That was my big one. Ugh. Uh, film for Dick Clark, the American Bandstand. Yeah. I uh, was producing a film called Savage Seven. And I had these ribs broken. Was was the biggest one. Ouch! That must have taken a while to recover from. I imagine. Yeah, it did. Ribs hurt. <laughs> ribs <you>? hurt. <laughs> yeah. And so, not only did you do that. I mean, you doubled for Jack Nicholson, like we talked about. But uh, a big name star is actually going to be playing you in a movie coming up, right? Brad Pitt. That's what they're talking. Exactly. About. Is that yeah, right, yeah, uh, Joe? Yeah. In a well, Tarantino film. Certainly the inspiration for it. Uh, Tar- Tarantino is doing a movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm-hmm has a stuntman character played by Brad Pitt, who's at the Spawn Ranch making movies and encounters uh, Charles Manson. That's, that's his story. That's, that's Gary there, and, and so. And, he, and, the, and Brad Pitt is made up to look quite a bit like a young Gary Kent. N- no coincidence there. Yeah. How does that make you feel, Gary? 
Uh, pretty cool. Why not? <laughs> Why, Why not? not? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I mean, there's just so much we could talk about. You such a wonderful career. 200 plus films. I mean, no one, not a lot of people can say that. So people can watch the documentary tonight, 7 p.m. I'm going to go over that information uh, again. But congratulations on, on a long career. I'm glad you're here talking to me and that those stunts didn't get the best of you. Uh, you that Alex. I was able to sit down and, and talk Thank to a legend. I should I mention, you just moved to Tucson. How are you liking it? Just moved. I'm liking it. You're liking it. it's every day. I like it a it's, little more. It's growing on you. Thank you both so much again. Uh, Joe, congrats on the documentary as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. You can catch the Tucson premiere of Love and Other Stunts tonight at 7 p.m. at the Screening Room as part of Tucson Terror Fest. To learn more, call 520-882-0204 or visit TucsonTerrorFest.com.